would you wear a helmet when you played hockey? What surprises me is that for a lot of the court sports, which the highest instance of injury is ankle sprains, people do not wear preventative uh, ankle braces to protect themselves. And yet, uh, they do it in the U.S. colleges. In fact, a lot of the programs, it's mandatory to wear bracing now. However, still most people in those sports don't wear braces. They're very comfortable and they provide protection. And contrary to the uh, uh, urban myth out there, it does not make your ankles weak. It just protects you in certain movements. So there are a lot of different ankle braces on the market designed for different things. Probably one of the most common ones out there is sort of a, a canvas style. They're called Suido Universal Ankle Braces. Um, they slip on, they lace up. There are plastic inserts in the side that can be removed if they bother you. Uh, and what they do is they lace on. They basically provide a tape job um, without the tape. And, and so you lace them up, you can tighten them up in between halves if you need to, and it prevents that foot from uh, both what we call an inversion sprain, which is your ankle turning in, as well as going down. So this is a good multi-sport brace. You can, if you have uh, athletes that play multiple sports, such as soccer, volleyball, basketball, football, this is a good multi-sport brace. The evolution of this brace is into one that's called uh, an ASO. There are quite a few different brands that have this. So what you have is you have that same lace-up type brace with a little bit of a, a flexible, what we call a stay in the side. And these actually have straps. So once you do up the brace, the strap actually comes around the foot and up the side. So it starts to give you straps like taping does to prevent that motion even more. So while these are a little bit more expensive, they tend to be a little bit better at reducing extreme ranges of motion. This is a different type of ankle brace uh, called an active ankle. Um, it's designed specifically for volleyball and uh, court sports essentially um, and designed uh, originally it came from the volleyball world and it actually works as an extension of your shoe. So what happens is it sits on your ankle like this and the straps do up so it's pretty easy to put on and the hinge point is right at, at your ankle. The idea is that for most ankle sprains in volleyball, they happen at the net when you're standing up and your foot turns this way. Now, the disadvantage of these braces, if you're actually in a toe pointed position, this foot can still go into that position and sprain. So, um, the idea is that it's designed for a sport where your most common ankle sprains happen when you're loaded on your foot and roll over on someone's foot. So this is an example of the active ankle brace in his shoe. So now it's an extension of his shoe. He's standing on the plastic part underneath his foot and the hinge is right at his ankle joint. So when he's standing on this and he can bend forward, it gives him lots of mobility this way. But still, if he happens to step on someone's foot and he rolls over this way, the brace stops him. So that's the actual brace limiting things. The disadvantage of these particular braces, and that's the importance of knowing which brace for which sport, is if you actually were playing, say, a game of soccer and your foot was out here and you rolled this way, now you can actually still get into that position to sprain this particular ligament, which is a different ligament than what this is designed to protect. So it's really important to know if I'm playing volleyball, this is a very good brace to use and it will protect me for the risks of my sport, but you got to make sure you pick the right one. So the key message here is there are literally thousands of different braces in the market and hundreds and hundreds of places that you can actually buy braces. So you want to make sure that you get the appropriate information so that you actually get the right brace for the right problem. You want to get to see a physiotherapist, have them analyze the problem to see what is wrong with your foot or where the weakness is or the knee or the shoulder or whatever other brace it is and then they can recommend the appropriate brace for your particular problem.